In order to prevent further loss of the sample through the flaps, NASA cancelled the previously planned spinning maneuver to determine the mass of the sample as well as a navigational braking maneuver and decided to stow the sample on the 27th of October 2020 rather than the 2nd of November 2020 as was originally planned, which was completed successfully. It was seen that the collector head hovering over the SRC after the TAGSAM arm moved it into the proper position for capture and later the collector head secured onto the capture ring in the sample return capsule. When the head was seated into the sample return capsule's capture ring on 28 October 2020, the spacecraft performed a backout check, which commanded the TAGSAM arm to back out of the capsule. This maneuver is designed to tug on the collector head and ensure that the latches, which keep the collector head in place, are well secured. Following the test, the mission team received telemetry confirming that the head is properly secured in the sample return capsule. Thereafter, on 28 October 2020, two mechanical parts on the TAGSAM arm must first be disconnected. These are the tube that carried the nitrogen gas to the TAGSAM head during sample collection and the TAGSAM arm itself. Over the next several hours, the mission team commanded the spacecraft to cut the tube that stirred up the sample through the TAGSAM head during sample collection and separate the collector head from the TAGSAM arm. Once the team confirmed these activities were done, it commanded the spacecraft on 28 October 2020 to close and seal the sample return capsule, the final step of the sample stowage process of Bennu's samples. To seal the SRC, the spacecraft closes the lid and then secures two internal latches. On inspecting images, it was observed that a few particles had escaped from the collector head during the stowage procedure but it was confirmed that no particles would hinder the stowage process, since the team was confident that a plentiful amount of material remains inside of the head, being more than the needed amount, 60 grams, that is, between 60 grams and 2000 grams. The sample of Bennu is safely stored and ready for its journey to Earth. Now that the collector head is secure inside the SRC, pieces of the sample will no longer be lost. The OSIRIS-REx team is now preparing the spacecraft for the next phase of the mission, the return cruise to Earth. On 7 April 2021, OSIRIS-REx completed its final flyover of Bennu and began slowly drifting away from the asteroid. On 10 May 2021, OSIRIS-REx officially left the Bennu asteroid and began its two-year journey to Earth with the asteroid sample. On 24 September 2023, the OSIRIS-REx return capsule is scheduled to re-enter Earth's atmosphere and land under a parachute at the Air Force's Utah Test and Training Range. The sample would be curated at NASA's Astromaterials Research and Exploration Science Directorate and at Japan's Extraterrestrial Sample Curation Center. It is critical to know the orbit of Bennu because recent calculations produced a cumulative probability of 1 in 1410 of impact with Earth in the period 2169 to 2199. One of the mission objectives is to refine understanding of non-gravitational effects on this orbit, and the implications of those effects for Bennu's collision probability. Knowing Bennu's physical properties will be critical for future scientists to understand when developing an asteroid impact avoidance mission. In addition to its telecommunication equipment, the spacecraft carries a suite of instruments to image and analyze the asteroid on many wavelengths, and retrieve a physical sample to return to Earth. Together, they acquire information on asteroid Bennu by providing global mapping, sample site reconnaissance and characterization, high-resolution imaging, and records of the sample acquisition. Polycam and 20 cm telescope, acquired visible light images with increasingly higher resolution on approach the asteroid and high-resolution surface images from orbit map cam searches for satellites and outgassing plumes. It maps the asteroid in four blue, green, red and near-infrared channels, and informs the model of Bennu's shape and provides high-resolution imaging of the potential sample site SAM cam continuously documents the sample acquisitions the OSIRIS-REx visible and IR spectrometer as a spectrometer which maps minerals and organic substances on the asteroid surface. It provides full-disk asteroid spectral data at 20 meters resolution. It maps blue to near-infrared, 400 to 4300 nanometers, with a spectral resolution of 7.5 to 22 nanometers. The spectral ranges and resolving powers are sufficient to provide surface maps of carbonates, silicates, sulfates, oxides, adsorbed water and a wide range of organic compounds. The OSIRIS-REx thermal emission spectrometer provides thermal emission spectral maps and local spectral information of candidate sample sites in the thermal infrared channel covering 4 to 50 micrometers, again to map mineral and organic substances. OATS is also used to measure the total thermal emission from Bennu in support of the requirement to measure emitted radiation globally. 
the regolith X-ray imaging spectrometer will provide an X-ray spectroscopy map of Bennu to map element abundances. REXIS is a coded aperture soft X-ray telescope that images X-ray fluorescence line emission produced by the absorption of solar X-rays in the solar wind with elements in the regolith of Bennu leading to local X-ray emissions. Imaging is achieved by correlating the detected X-ray image with a 64x64 64 64 element random mask. A 24-second resolution time tag will be interleaved with the event data to account for Bennu rotation. Images will be reconstructed on the ground after downlink of the event list. Images are formed simultaneously in 16 energy bands centered on the dominant lines of abundant surface elements from OK to Fe case as well the representative continuum. During orbital phase 5b, a 21-day orbit 700 meters from the surface of Bennu, a total of at least 133 events, asteroid pixel, energy band are expected under 2 keV, enough to obtain significant constraints on element abundances at scales larger than 10 meters. On the 11th of November 2019, University students and researchers involved in the mission accidentally discovered X-ray burst from a black hole named Maxi J0637430 locate 30,000 light years away, during observing the asteroid with REXIS. The OSIRIS-REx laser altimeter is a scanning and litter instrument that will provide high-resolution topographical information throughout the mission. The information received by OLA creates global topographic maps of Bennu, local maps of candidate sample sites, ranging in support of other instruments, and support navigation and gravity analyses. OLA scans the surface of Bennu at specific intervals to rapidly map the entire surface of the asteroid to achieve its primary objective of producing local and global topographic maps. The data collected by OLA will also be used to develop a control network relative to the center of mass of the asteroid and to enhance and refine gravitational studies of Bennu. OLA's high-energy laser transmitter is used for ranging and mapping from 1 to 7.5 kilometers. The low energy transmitter is used for ranging and imaging from 0.5 to 1 km. The sample return system, called Touch and Go Sample Acquisition Mechanism, consists of a sampler head with an articulated 3.35 meters arm. An onboard nitrogen source will support up to three separate sampling attempts for a minimum total amount of 60 grams of sample. Highlights of the TAGSAM instrument and technique include Relative approach velocity of 10 cm per second contact within 25 meters of selected location OCAMS document sampling at 1 Hz collect samples in less than 5 seconds, direct nitrogen annular jet fluidizes regolith, surface contact pad captures surface sample verify bulk sample collection via spacecraft inertia change, surface sample by imaging sampler head sampler head stored in sample return capsule and returned to Earth Hayabusa 2 as a similar mission from JAXA to collect samples from near-Earth asteroid 162173 Ryugu. It arrived at the asteroid in June 2018, left in November 2019 after two successful sample collections, and returned to Earth in December 2020. The sample contents will be extensively analyzed, including water content which will provide clues on the initial formation of the asteroid. The main module of Hayabusa 2 is performing a swing by procedure to push it onward to its next destination, asteroid 1998 Kentucky 26. Due to the similarity and overlapping timelines of the two missions, NASA and JAXA signed an agreement to collaborate on sample exchange and research. The two teams visited each other, with representatives from JAXA visiting the OSIRIS-REx Science Operations Center at the University of Arizona, and members of the OSIRIS-REx team traveling to Japan to meet with the Hayabusa 2 team. The teams are sharing software, data, and techniques for analysis, and will eventually exchange portions of the samples that are returned to Earth. OSIRIS-REx-2 was a 2012 mission concept to replicate the original spacecraft for a double mission, with the second vehicle collecting samples from the two moons of Mars, Phobos and Deimos. It was stated that this mission would be both the quickest and least expensive way to get samples from the moons.